Well, Blue Springs almost lost a rare thing, a good bookstore. But a Kansas City man came to the rescue. John Batten shows us how he intends to be a success selling old school media in a digital age. The Rebels, the Seekers. Will Latham knows taking over the Parkside bookstore in Blue Springs is a bit of a risk. He owns Prospero's Books in Kansas City. And there's 12 bookstores I know of went out of business within a mile and a half of my original one in this city in the last 10 years. When Beth King's partner in Parkside wanted to retire, she thought they might have to close. She says she shanghaied Will. I love his vision. It's uh, some of the things that we wanted to do before. We just didn't have the space for it. Now we've got a better space. Will also plans to bring in music, readings, and community events. We really invest in the creative part of any community we're involved in. They both hope that kind of involvement and investment in customer service will spell success, even in a digital, online world. This never runs out of a battery. <laughs> Sometimes you just want to sit down with a good book. <laughs> Customer Carrie Bedford is definitely one of those. I still have to hold it. I still have to turn the pages. I still have to hear it crinkle. There's a steady stream of customers doing that already. If we are lucky and are smart and serve them well, they will come back. And we'll all have a place for good books, conversation, and sometimes best fresh-baked cookies. John Batten, NBC Action News. Prospero's Parkside is having a tent sale this weekend. Through Sunday, 50% of the proceeds from all books under the tent will go to 